Okay. The GPS is sending me through this alley? In the dark? There's nothing even close to a hotel here. Well, I can't promise we won't get mugged, but I can promise that this sketch will cover the anatomy of a skeletal muscle fiber, including the organization of a sarcomere. Might as well get started. It's not getting any lighter around here. Before we get in too far, a quick orientation is in order. Skeletal muscles manipulate the skeleton, producing movement. Whole skeletal muscles are broken down into numerous fascicles, and each fascicle consists of bundles of muscle fibers, which are individual muscle cells, or myocytes, if you want to get technical. We represent a muscle fiber with this large fiber optic cable. A single muscle fiber contains even smaller pieces, called myofibrils, just like how the fiber optic cable contains many smaller, wiry fibers of its own. And this lemur wrapped around the cable symbolizes the sarcolemma, the specialized cell membrane that surrounds each muscle fiber. What's he looking at? Okay, sorry I asked. Those two guys are definitely up to no good. They represent the two kinds of filaments contained in each myofibril. Thick filaments, represented by this stocky mob boss, and thin filaments, represented by the thinner guy. Thick filaments are made entirely of myosin. See how the big guy has just come out the back door of the mycin nightclub? Don't want to know what happens in there. In contrast, Thin filaments contain act-thin, I mean, actin. That's why the thin fella is just outside the fast actin club. Actin is only part of the thin filament, though. Thin filaments also contain troponin and tribomyosin proteins. This bone-in T-bone steak represents troponin, and the tropical cup in his hand from mycin symbolizes tropomyosin. Troponin and tropomyosin come into play when we're talking about the cross bridges that form between actin and myosin during muscle contractions, but we'll cover all that in detail another time. Moving on, this plastic fencing should remind you of the sarcoplasmic reticulum, which is a modified smooth endoplasmic reticulum found in muscle fibers. Its main role is to store calcium ions, which influence actin-myosin interactions. The fencing surrounds the two mobsters because the sarcoplasmic reticulum wraps around myofibrils. Well, I think that fencing is a sign it might be a good idea to give these guys some space. Let's head over to the other side of the alley for a bit. Okay, lemurs and meerkats? You'd think mobsters would opt for a more intimidating exotic pet. Anyways... This meerkat perched on the air conditioner symbolizes a sarcomere. Sarcomeres are the repeated contractile units within each myofibril, so they are what actually shortens during a muscle contraction. Sarcomeres align parallel and end-to-end -end throughout a skeletal muscle fiber myofibril, just like these stacked AC units. This repetition and the regular overlapping pattern of thick and thin filaments results in the characteristic banding, or striated, pattern of skeletal muscle. 